So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, Floyd Money Mayweather wins the Bawa Fighter of the Decade. What did I say to you guys? I said to you, I, remember, I, remember, I said this, Bar everybody else gave Floyd Mayweather Fighter of the Decade. And I said, what I said to you guys is that a lot of you guys were saying Bawa hasn't given it, Bawa is going to give it to Manny Pacquiao, Bawa is going to give it to Manny Pacquiao. And if you remember what I said, I said if Bawa give the fighter of the decade to Floyd Mayweather, I don't want any of you to come out and say that they're corrupt because you guys believe that they were going to give it to Manny Pacquiao. And, and they've given it to Floyd Mayweather. They've given him the fighter of the decade. And let's be real, everybody gave Floyd Mayweather the fighter of the decade. BBC, WBN, Bawa. What other organization are you going to, are you going to invent another organization and say, well, at the end of the day, everybody unanimously agreed. Now, I said that I felt Manny Pacquiao was fighter of the decade, but I was obviously wrong. I was obviously a, 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 mi a minority because you know who Bawa are? Bawa are all boxing writers. They've all given it to Floyd Mayweather. Here in England, BBC gave it to Floyd Mayweather. But then a lot of you said, well, Britain are, 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 are friends with America. Guys, what's politics got to do with a guy getting fire of the decade? It's people's opinion and who they feel. Now, a lot of you are from the Philippines. So if you're saying Americans are biased and British are biased to an American, I don't know why a Britain will be a biased to America. Then all of you guys are biased as well. You guys are biased because you're, most of you are from the Philippines. So isn't your opinion biased towards Manny Pacquiao? It, do, it doesn't work both ways. I'm telling you now that everyone unanimously has agreed that Mayweather is one fighter of the decade. It is what it is. Unfortunately, you know, that people, most people think he was the man of this decade. So, and that's how it is. And to be honest, to, to be honest, he's won it on, on many organization so he deserves it you know if he if if, if all the pe top people think that he's the man he's the one that deserves to win it it is what it is everyone has their different opinion bob Arum thought manny pacquiao was hands down fighter of the decade but everybody else boxing writers and everybody else thought floyd mayweather it's got nothing to do with corruption or favoritism or any of that that's a load of rubbish i'm telling you now it's got nothing to do with that if you, if you want to bring out a narrative about it being corruption and that, then you, of course you can. But it's got nothing to do with that. I, I Listen, Floyd Mayweather, one fighter of the decade. He l never lost. He never lost in this decade. You know, so... And yes, he, he didn't fight the full half, full decade. He only fought five years. But we have to understand that this isn't me and you making this decision. These are top people that know the sport way more than we know the sport that have given it him right they think what he did in those five years are a lot better than any other fighter in that period let's not forget he beat Manny Pacquiao and he beat Canelo those were the two other front runners to win and actually what would surprise you there was another warding body that actually gave Andre Ward the fighter of the decade so Floyd Mayweather and Andre Ward were the only two fighters that were actually undefeated in this deck in this decade they never lost they never lost a single fight. You know, Andre Ward's never lost a fight since he was 12. You know, but yeah, I, listen, I'm not... It doesn't really bother me, if I'm honest, because I think Floyd Mayweather was up there as a, as a guy that could have won it. And he's won it with every single, virtually every single organization. So what's there to complain? What's there to cry? Um, at the end of the day, I just feel like you guys should accept it and accept that, you know, he was the fighter of this decade. That's the way I look at it, because I don't look, I don't really, on these type of things, I don't really get into, I don't really get emotional about it, you know, I feel like Canelo's a legend in my eyes, Pacquiao's a legend, and Mayweather's a legend, so I don't really differentiate, but a lot of you guys have an affiliation to Pacquiao, so I understand why you start attacking Mayweather, but uh, for me, it doesn't matter, if he won fire of the decade and everybody's given it in BBC, WBN, Bawa, he deserves it. Because everybody's unanimously giving it to him. It's not like it's one person and then one's giving it to Pacquiao. No one gave Pacquiao fighter of the decade. No one. You know, it, not everyone can be corrupt. Nobody, not one single person or not one single organization thought he was fighter of the decade. You know, so Floyd Mayweather wins it. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts 
and guys remember to please like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video so guys what's going on manny pacquiao calls out conor mcgregor conor on manny pacquiao calls out conor mcgregor see a lot of you guys were saying that this is a joke fight this is not going to happen manny pacquiao wouldn't disrespect or go to that level where he'd want to but and i said leave manny pacquiao alone manny pacquiao can fight whoever he wants um, he's achieved a lot in his career. It's all about money now. And it is about money. I was right. He called him out. Sean Gibbons said in a, clearly to the camera, he said, Connor, if you want a real fight, you know where you can get a real fight. They want that money. They want that money. Manny Pacquiao wants that money. Manny Pacquiao didn't say it himself, but he was there with Sean Gibbons laughing while Sean Gibbons was saying it. Because Manny, Manny's too humble. He won't say something like that. He won't call. He gave. He wished Conor McGregor good luck. He said, I hope you win the fight. Um, is there something cooking in the background that we don't know? Actually, there is a lot cooking in the background. Negotiations have started with for a Conor McGregor showdown. I think Manny should look explore that fight. I honestly think he should. You know, whether you guys think it's a gimmick, whether you, it's not a competitive fight, Pacquiao will destroy McGregor. But who cares? Let Manny make his money. Let Manny make his money. Make millions. Just imagine, just imagine doing videos about Pacquiao McGregor. How many views YouTube channels will get? How many YouTube cha views I'll get from a selfish point of view? How much attention you guys will be watching my videos and watching other channels videos It'd be massive it'd be massive i don't know about the press conferences because i don't think they'll be as big as mayweather mcgregor because manny pacquiao doesn't really trash talk uh and i don't think mcgregor's gonna start trash talking manny pacquiao you know what i mean because he's just not that type of character uh and i don't think mcgregor's gonna start trashing him, he's going to think, nah, he's a respectful guy, so he's probably going to be respectful, so I don't think the press conference is going to be that lively, but still, it'd be a huge event, and people would want to want to watch, yeah, man, I'd be interested, I want to watch that, I don't know why you guys were shooting it down, oh, I want to see him fight Spence, and who cares about Spence, I want to see him fight McGregor, I want to see a big, big event, you know, yes, it's not a competitive fight, I get it, but it's a one-off thing, you know what I mean, it's a one-off thing, like, I've always said that I don't like these events that are not competitive. But the reason why I'm not too against Mayweather McGregor and Pacquiao McGregor because of the size of the event is good for the boxing world. There's a lot of attention on the on, on the eyes on the boxing world. There's a lot of people benefiting from it. Whereas if there's like McGregor fighting like someone else that's not so big, then I, then I wouldn't really want to see it. Um but I just think this is massive. I think this is massive. I would love to, I'd love to I'd love to see Manny get a big payday as well because I don't think his last couple of fights he's been getting big big paydays. This would be a big big pay. Apparently McGregor in his fight against Donald Cerrone, right? Which is he's getting 80 million apparently. So McGregor and apparently against Khabib, apparently McGregor got 50 million. So McGregor's raking that cash. He's raking that cash and a, a fight with Manny Pacquiao would make him huge amount of money so yeah i'm really really interested i'm really really interested to to see to let like a legend like manny pacquiao get paid big money he's going to retire maybe three four fights four fights maximum i think let him have a huge payday against connor why not why are you so against it it's like it's like a lot of you like are being unfair on Manny Pacquiao because he's got an opportunity there where he can make a big amount of money and you're not supportive of it. I don't know why. You know, what do you want the guy to do? Fight till he's 60 and still fight killers? Like, let the guy have some, make some money, low risk, high reward. You know, and then he can fight other guys as well because McGregor fight's not going to take a lot out of him. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to, yeah, the training camp's going to take a lot out of him because he's going to train hard still, but it's not going to take... The fight's not going to take something away from him. Do you see what I mean? That's why I'm, I'm, I want to see the fight. I, I think it's an event. I think it, it, it's, it's, it benefits a lot of people. Um, and I'm, I'm, I, I want that fight to happen for Manny. I think he, he'll make a lot of money. I think he'll make a lot of money. He can help these Filipino people. Um, he can be, help to you know create his party, become prime minister, whatever he wants to do. Um, it's a big, big money fight for him. You know, It's a big, big money fight. So I don't think anyone should 
really hate on him for wanting to take that. It will make him look a bit hypocritical because he was very cri um, critical of Mayweather McGregor. But at the end of the day, who cares? Things happen. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. Errol Spence Jr. is back in training. Errol the Truth Spence is back in training. Great, great news. Great, great news that Errol the Truth Spence is back in training. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to see Errol the Truth Spence back in training. Um, er Errol Spence is one of my favorite fighters, one of my favorite current fighters. And I believe this kid is probably the best welterweight right now in the world. Or I, 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 I don't really want to say that because I feel like they've all got to fight each other to kind of prove it. But uh, I think on current, what he's achieved so far, he's the unified champion, holds more belts than anyone in that division. You have to maybe crown him number one. Um, and we all wish well for Errol Spence. We hope he's okay. We all want to see him back to his best. We all want to, we all hope that, you know, it's the old Errol Spence. You know, because there's some good matchups to be made. You know, there's a Crawford fight, which is a monster fight, which everybody wants to see. Potential Pacquiao fight, uh, a potential uh, Danny Garcia fight, potential Keith Thurman fight, which could be massive. Um, yeah, I think I think Errol the Truth Spence needs to be back to his best. And I think the fact that he's training and there was a lot of rumors around him that he won't be back uh, for, a, for a year. He'll be out all this year. Then maybe next year he'll come back. It's good to hear that he's back in training and he's, he's going to come back this year uh, because there was a lot of speculation, a lot of rumours flying about about his health and how he is and about how his physical condition is. And what we can kind of take from what we know so far is that Errol Spence isn't too bad. He's okay. And that's obviously great news for everybody. It's great news that Errol Spence is, is back in training because, you know what, Errol Spence is... is one of the future stars, one of the guys that, you know, can carry the sport in the future, hopefully. He hasn't quite reached the stardom that people were probably expecting. Um, you know, he's already near, what, near 30. Uh, and we were probably expecting him to be an even bigger star. But, you know, let's not forget Mayweather. It took Mayweather a long time to become a star. You know, Mayweather didn't become a star overnight. Neither did Pacquiao. You know, a lot of these guys were quite old when they became stars. Like, they were 30 plus. Um, so, you know, let's not forget Mayweather fought till he was 40. Uh, Manny Pacquiao still fighting at 41. So they've been in the game for a very long time. They've been in the game almost four decades. Uh, Mayweather's been in the game since, what, the 90s. You know, same with Pacquiao. So it's almost, they're starting their fourth decade. So, you know, they've been in the game a, lot, a long time. You know, Errol Spence may have not even been born when Mayweather was in the game, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I think, I think, you know, Errol Spence coming back um, is great for him. I think, I think what Errol, Errol needs to do, he needs to have a tune-up fight. Uh, he needs to have a tune-up fight where he gets the, you know, gets the cobwebs off. Uh, he gets to see how he, how you know gets gets a feel of being back in the ring. Gets a few punches, takes a few punches. Of course, nobody wants to take a few punches, but he takes a few punches. See how he feels. See how he takes those shots, uh, and then moves forward from there into a monster fight, maybe towards the end of 2020 or the start of 2021. Um, I th I think that's the should be the way he should navigate himself because I think jumping into a big fight right away. Um, is not great. I think it's really st hampered him because they were looking to make that Danny Garcia fight in January. Uh, if everything went well and he beat Danny Garcia, then the Manny Pacquiao fight would probably was going to be made for July, June. But I think that scuppered plans a little bit. And maybe Errol Spence may never get the Manny Pacquiao fight now. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, I think it's still a big fight that people want to see. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of Errol Spence being back in training? Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Guys, a lot of you have been asking about Keith Thurman. Uh, what should Keith Thurman do next? For me, I think the fight that should happen for Keith Thurman next should be an all... Should be a tough fight. And I think it should be a tough fight against a unified champion in Errol Spence. I think that makes 
a lot of sense. Personally, I think Keith Thurman's not the fighter he was after that injury. I think Errol Spence is now injured. Errol Spence is saying that he wants a top, tough fight. Why not a fight against Keith Thurman? You know, Keith Thurman isn't as dangerous as Manny Pacquiao. He's not as dangerous as Terence Crawford for Spence. But he's still a top-level opponent and he'll still sell. And I'm pretty sure Spence don't. Spence might not want to come back in a, just a gimme fight. He might want to fight top guys. And the Keith Thurman fight would sell. It's a big fight. It's a fight that a lot of the fans want to see still. And I think it makes a huge amount of sense. So I don't know why Thurman can't fight Spence next. I would love to see it. I would love to see Errol Spence v Keith Thurman. I think it's a great fight. I think it's a great matchup between two great fighters. Uh, one was a unified, a former world unified champion. One's a current unified champion. Um, you know, you'd, you'd have to favor the current unified champion. He's got the momentum. However, he's had a car crash. We've not seen him after the car crash in the ring. We don't know what he's going to be like after the car crash. Um, can Keith Thurman take advantage over that? Or is Keith Thurman too over the hill himself to take advantage? You know, he didn't look great against Lopez. He got put down against Pacquiao. Um, is Keith Thurman going to be able to recover? Now he got injured again. Keith Thurman got injured again. So are we ever going to see the best Keith Thurman? Who knows? But maybe Keith Thurman needs a fight that motivates him, that puts him in a dangerous situation to get the best out of him. You know, we saw against the, in the Pacquiao fight, he did well. He did well. Yes, he got beat, but he did well. He, he didn't do too bad. You know, he got put in a dangerous situation and he performed a lot better than he did against... Lopez, we were always expecting that. He was always going to improve his performance against Manny Pacquiao. Just wasn't good enough. Just wasn't good enough. Can he? Can that performance beat Errol Spence? I don't think so. But why not give it a go? Why not? Why not make that fight next? I think it's a great fight, and I think Thurman's not as dangerous as Porter. He's not as dangerous as uh, Crawford or Manny Pacquiao. At the minute, so he'd be the fourth best guy for him to fight. I think Danny Garcia is also quite. I think Danny Garcia is dangerous because I think Danny Garcia can punch. Also, Danny Garcia is tough. Danny Garcia is very tough. He can take a punch, whereas Keith Thurman, from that sense, taking a punch is he's not his strong forte. He he gets hurt. He gets put down. He gets hurt to the body. You know, he's got quite. He hasn't got a great chin. And his body, is, he's not really good at taking it to the body as well, if I'm honest. Um, so, I think it'd be a very interesting fight. I think it'd be a fight that would, that would, you know, excite a lot of people. It'd definitely get me excited. And it's a fight that I'd want to see. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a fight that you want to see? Would it, be, would it interest you? Would it not interest you? Uh, I think it should happen probably next. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it could be on pay-per-view. I think it's a big money fight. I think it's a fun fight. I think it's a fun fight that everybody would enjoy. So, yeah, I would love to see that fight next. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. So, guys, just to give you a little bit of an update, uh, Canelo Alvarez wins Bar Wars Fighter of the Decade. Oh, sorry, not, not Fighter of the Decade, Fighter of the Year. Um... You know, I think Canelo was a unanimous winner in Fire of the Year. Most people thought he did more than anybody else. Um, and yeah, I think Canelo, I, I even said Canelo for me was Fire of the Year. Um, all majority of all the organizations gave him Fire of the Year. Apart from WBN, where it was a vote and Manny Pacquiao won by a landslide uh, on a voting system. But Canelo Alvarez uh, for Barwa won Fire of, the, Fire of the Year, according to all the boxing writers across the globe so yeah you know canelo for me was a was the right man deserved it i think he was i think he's been brilliant uh not just this year but most a lot of the years throughout the decade i think he's been brilliant i think he's shown his quality his class and you know i think he's one of the best fighters in the world right now i believe he's probably top top three pound for pound i think in my opinion he's my number one fighter i think the fact that he's moving up and up and down weights i think shows uh and beating fighting the best guys not just fighting poor guys fighting top competition time and time again and, and winning um shows canelo alvarez's uh, quality uh, and shows how good canelo alvarez is as a fighter what do you guys think about barwa handing uh canelo 
uh, fighter of the year what do you guys make of it leave your thoughts let me know what you think and guys remember to please like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video